Hey church, again, thanks for letting us into your living room as you guys are meeting in your small groups, digging deeper and living it out, God's word together. Today we're talking about the character of Christ, the aspect of love. Now love is one of the most used words in our English language, but it's hard to get a true definition of what love means because we use it in so many different ways. On one hand, we say, I love sports. On the other hand, we say, I love my spouse. So what does love really mean? Is it, there's just, you know, we have to really dig into this word today to understand what God's love is so that we can truly imitate it. Now in the Greek, there's a few main words that they use to translate into the English word love. They have the word phileo. Phileo is a brotherly friendship kind of love. They have eros, which means the romantic relationship kind of love. Stork is a word that is used for the familial, the family kind of love. And the one we're talking about today is agape, and that is the God kind of unconditional love. And so what is agape love? What does it mean that, to have the God kind of love and to imitate that to the world around us? Well, let's read 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 through 6. It says, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud, it does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but it rejoices in the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. I'm sure you guys love in that way every single day, right? Man, it's, it's so hard. We blow it. But this is the goal. This is the kind of love that God has for us, the kind of love demonstrated in the life of Jesus. And uh, just to give you a simple definition, and I like to button that up, agape love does what is good and beneficial for another despite the personal sacrifice required. So agape love is willing to sacrifice personal desires, personal needs to, lo to, to meet others right where they're at. See, Jesus did this all the time. In Matthew chapter 14, for, uh, we, we see Jesus. He's, he's just finding out about John the Baptist being beheaded. And so he takes his disciples. He, go, he says, let's go to a remote place. He wants to grieve. He wants to take time to himself. But as he gets there... There's a large crowd waiting for him. You know, he could have went somewhere else, but instead he said he had compassion on the crowd and he was willing to set aside his own personal needs to meet someone else right where they were at, to love them right where they were at. This is the kind of love that Jesus had, the kind of love that he shows you and I, the kind of love that allows himself to be inconvenienced for the sake of others. You see, God wants us to be willing to be inconvenienced for the sake of showing others this agape kind of love. Now, for some of the people in our life, it's easy to love them. It's easy to love them in this agape kind of way. I should say easier. For others, and you know who I'm talking about, it can be very challenging to, to love people in this God kind of agape way. But the reality is that God calls us to love both those that are easy and those that are difficult with this agape kind of love. It says in Luke chapter 16, or sorry, Luke chapter 6, verse 27 to 36, it talks about loving your enemies. And if we simply love those who love, it, uh, uh, who love us, what good is that to us? But God calls us to imitate his agape love that is even willing to love their enemies, just as Jesus went to the cross for those who spit on him and beat him. See, something we need to remember is that people should have to earn our trust, but nobody should ever have to earn our love. And that may seem like a strong statement, but isn't this how, what Jesus modeled for the world? How many of us deserved his love? How many of us we're good enough to receive his love. It says Romans 5, 8, that God showed his love for us in this, that while we were still sinners, 
Christ died for us. You see, God's agape love loved us right where we were at, even when we did not deserve it. And that's the kind of love that he calls us to show to the world around us. And so I want to encourage you guys as you continue to talk into your small groups today, ask yourself, do you truly imitate this agape love? Because we believe that this is something God has called us to do and wants to work in our hearts.